Ready? Three, two, one. I wanted to build a greenhouse, but it is 110 degrees outside. So I had this crazy idea of building the entire thing in my shop where I have AC and then somehow moving it outside afterwards. Build it in pieces like a normal person might do? Oh no, I mean build the entire thing completely assembled. Now don't think me an entirely reckless fool. I did give it a good 20 minutes of thought before deciding to do this. I measured the doorway, which is 119. So I built the greenhouse at 118. This gave me an entire inch to rig together a carriage to wheel this thing out. The wheels are actually scaffolding wheels where I left the front pivotable, but I made the back fixed. In the next video, I'll show you how I actually built the greenhouse. For now, I went to my deck drawer system and grabbed my box of toe straps so that I can create a harness. Let's raise the doors and see if I can one, even get this thing outside, and two, get it to sight without breaking it. <laughs> oh, wait, I should have like a war cry, not giggles. Three, two, one. There should be a greenhouse moving competition. Whoop! Ah! <laughs> it worked! It worked! Wait, did it work? Am I stuck on something? I'm stuck on something. What am I stuck on? Oh, are my casters stuck? Oh yeah, I'm gonna do a three, two, one. Ready? Three? Two, one. Oh. Nope. Dang. What's happening is the concrete, there's a little ridge right here. And so the body is getting hung up on the ridge. So I don't have enough woman power to overpower it, but I bet my buggy does. So the original plan whenever I was building it inside was to pull it straight out, but this header on the shop is like 112 inches, so it's way too short. So I'm only gonna pull it out far enough in order to take a left and go down the, uh, the nice smooth concrete. Okay, ready? check folks test pass so let's see if I can now turn it manually and then pull it down the rest of the concrete I do have some wood storage to avoid and how to remove a ceiling fan to prep for this move but all trade-offs I was willing to make in order to avoid building this outside it was actually very surprising on how easy this thing was to move well on smooth concrete next challenge was how these scaffolding wheels would handle pea gravel I have about 300 feet I need to get through so I backed up the buggy and rigged it up once again this time in four-wheel drive three two one This is working. So far and play. Don't tell me, Tom. Do not tell me. I say that because so many people following along on Instagram thought I was crazy for attempting this entire move. I mean, it is crazy, but I think it's an acceptable amount of craziness. <laughs> All right, let's see how it handles this bridge. Swing and work. Pick up some speed. Come on, pull it down. One problem at a time until they are all knocked down. Now that that is successfully on site and unbroken, let's get this thing leveled. Okay, so now that the big task of getting the greenhouse out there is done, now I'm gonna take all of my tools in order to prop it up, make a foundation, and level it out. This is pretty much my mobile workbench. It's an electric wheelbarrow as a thumb trigger. Makes life easy. 
I love this chore warrior. It is insane how many uses I found for it, especially having land. An electric wheelbarrow should be on everybody's wish list. By the way, times when I can't hide from the heat inside, I make sure to bring along my portacle unit. It normally lives on my deck, but I can easily put it on the job site so I have nice cold air blowing over me all day long. First thing to do when leveling a building is to find the high corner. Looking at this level bell, it looks like that is definitely gonna be the high end and we're about two to three inches out of level. So what I'm gonna do is back up the high point and put a hub block under it. So if you don't wanna mess with digging posts, who does? I would absolutely recommend looking at these. It's gonna go directly on the ground. And the way that this is designed is the framing, which looks like this, is gonna set right inside the tough blocks on the high end. Then whenever I go to the low end, in order to jack it up, the design also will fit a four by four. And so then once I get this side set, I'll be able to take a measurement, cut this block to height, and then set that one level. What I love about these tough blocks is that you don't have to go into the ground. Think about hauling 300 pounds of concrete home in order to plant this greenhouse in the ground. You get to skip all of that, all of the mixing, all of the, the tools that requires. And instead, these go directly on the ground and you can build almost anything on top of it. Personally, I've already used these in two scenarios, one where I used it as a staircase landing and then another one where I built a boardwalk. Both scenarios, I did not want to go into my rocky soil. After getting the high point set, then it's sister and corner level to it. Oh! Next is to go to the opposite end of the building and jack it up to level. Level. Now we can take a measurement on the front to see how much material we need in there. Two and three eighths on the left. Two and a half on the right. I got the measurement, cut this block with a shoulder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slip this underneath the framing and pop it up. And then this is gonna sit right into the four by four cubby of the tough block. And then this is gonna rest right here on the screaming. And then all of this meat is gonna be up here on this two by six, allowing me to run in screws and secure everything. So here we go. Of course, make sure your building is secure before sticking your arms underneath it. Okay. <laughs> Lovely. Ah, oh, just so, I love it when a plan comes together. So now whenever I lower my greenhouse, it'll rest right on that shoulder and I can do the same to the other side. I'm also gonna place one right at the center on the long point of the shed. I was lucky to have such a flat spot, but this is rare. More than likely, if you have to level a building, you'll end up with taller 4x4s on some of the corners. And if that's the case, then be sure to put fence armor on them. These are protective metal guards that go on any 4x4 or 6x6 posts to prevent them from getting eaten up by a weed eater. Great example is fence posts, porch posts, mailbox posts. They come in several colors so that you can either try and match your finish or contrast it. I cannot believe that worked. Actually, I can. I did think it through before making the decision to build it inside. I personally had a blast moving it out. So hopefully if you have a small building you're trying to move and level on location, this video has either inspired you or given you some thoughts on how to go about it. Stay tuned for my next video where I show you how I built the super cute and strong greenhouse.